What is going on, y'all? Chuck Nunface here. Millie 2 S110V. Rocking this. One month, one knife, 2024. Keeps going strong. It's rolling. We're rolling through. It is day nine. You, When you see this, it'll be day 10. I don't imagine I would have stopped carrying this. Um, so I figured I'd just do a quick little update video. Uh, I've been obviously carrying this knife every day. I have been using it. I haven't been using it, you know, crazy. I haven't had any major hard use tasks or anything like that. But um, the knife has been a pleasure to carry. Uh, you know, some people had remarked that, hey, how do you feel? You know, the knife, it's a big knife. How do you feel about carrying that? Well, if you follow my, my channel, subscribe to the channel for any length of time, you know that I do prefer kind of kind of bigger knives, bigger folders, things like that. Uh, speaking of subscribing to the channel, if you haven't done so already, please consider doing so. I certainly would appreciate that. Um, remember to like this video, share it out there, drop a comment if you see fit. All those good things help me out with the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, this has been uh, it's been very easy in the pocket. Um, whether I'm wearing jeans or slacks or uh, you know I've worn suits a couple times since having it. Now, when I'm wearing a suit, I don't cl use the pocket clip. I don't I don't clip it to my pocket. Most suits you'll see <clears throat> if you wear suits. <clears throat> excuse me, the air quality is just iffy at best. There's been a lot of allergies going on right now in my neck of the woods. Um, yeah, if you wear suits, you may notice when you when you on your right hand pocket, a lot of times you'll have a little um, you'll have a little mini pocket like a like a change pocket, a coin pocket, or uh, maybe it's to put a key or something like that. But this will nestle nicely in there. The pocket's only about that deep, but you can just kind of put it in there. It keeps it in one place. Alternatively, if I'm wearing a suit jacket, I might just put it in my suit jacket. Um, so it's really been no problem. I would do that with. Unless it was a very light gentleman's folder, I would probably just go ahead and do that regardless of what, what knife I was carrying at the time. So, yeah, it hasn't been an issue carrying it. Um, yeah, it's tall blade. It's as tall as the PM2 at least. I don't have a PM2 to, to compare it to, but it's at least as tall as the PM2. Um, but, I mean, it just hasn't been a big issue for me. I really don't care much. El I don't carry much else in my, my knife pocket. Like, so, for instance, I'm wearing jeans today. And it just goes in the pocket. And if I really want, got something else in that pocket, I have no problem. You can't see it's off camera, but I have no problem, you know, putting my hand in my pocket. It's not, not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, carrying this knife has been no problem. Uh, using the knife has been also no problem. Um, I processed quite a bit of cardboard the other night. I, you know, it was uh, Wednesday night or whatever it was. It was before recycling was getting picked up, and I, I had a bunch of boxes, Amazon and whatnot. Um, and I, and I processed a bunch of cardboard, some of it really thick. So we bought like, a a, uh, pressure washer. So that was like really kind of thick, heavy duty cardboard and, you know, broke that down. No problem. Now the edge, <clears throat> I'm still on the factory edge and, uh, I do want to sharpen it, but the factory edge is really good. Um, it's a bit uneven. I kind of remarked on that already, but it's, it's still really good. Um, it was very sharp from the factory. And so I haven't taking the time to, I'll probably, I may do it this weekend if I have time to just get it on the, on the KME and just put a, put a fresh edge on it. We'll see. Um, but it was this, the flat of the blade was suffering a little bit after, you know, the, the week or so that I've carried it. And, um, it wasn't, I mean, it was still sharp. It was plenty, it was perfectly serviceable as a working edge, but after breaking down all that, all that cardboard, um, I, ended, I stropped it. And I kind of, I don't know what it is. I think it was a mental thing. I don't know, S110V. I haven't had S110V in six or seven years, probably. And I just, I, I think I was in this mindset of watching, you know, YouTube videos and being like, oh, S110V is so hard to maintain and so hard to sharpen and everything else. And it just kind of stuck in my head, even though I've sharpened other steel since then, S90V, S125V, K390, I've sharpened, you know, high performance steels. Um, since I've last had S110V, and um, I don't know, I, I guess I just had it in my head that it was going to be this this chore to keep sharp, but I just dropped it. I didn't, I didn't use anything special. I didn't have, you know, diamond emulsions or anything like that. I just used green compound, a little white compound, and then I followed with some just Amazon CBN red paste. You know, it's like one micron, um, and I just did that. And I got it back to hair shaving sharp. Now, it's not hair splitting sharp, 
Um, I can't whittle hair with it, but I mean, I got it back to shaving sharp on my arm. So this flat is a little duller than, you know, this belly, this curved part right here. But, uh, you know, so I do kind of want it, but I mean, it's still catching skin when I do that. I mean, it's still catching in my thumbprint. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely not dull, but yeah, after I, after I sharpened it or not sharpened it, after I stropped it, it, it came right back to hair popping, you know, so <clears throat> that was my own mental thing, just thinking that S110V was somehow, and it just goes back to something I saw years ago before really kind of analyzing it and having experience with it and, and other, you know, super steels and things like that, where I just had it in my head that it was harder to deal with than it was. Um, I haven't had any issues with chipping. However, I have not done anything that would be qualify as hard use with it. Um, you know, so I can't really comment on that, but I have not noticed any chipping on the edge or anything like that. Um, it's performed very admirably. I've been very satisfied. So I guess that will conclude, unless I could think of something that I might have missed. Um, rock scale design scales, really love those. Um, this knife is great with these scales. Um, it's just been a pleasure. I've had no issues with this. Do I get a little bit bored? I haven't gotten bored yet. Probably about a week from now, maybe even in the next few days, I'll probably be saying to myself, uh, you know, because I have had a couple of other things come in since I've gotten this, and not carrying new things is kind of like, oh man, I really want to, you know, carry this knife and do all this other stuff. So, um, I'll probably be feeling the itch in a few days to to change it up, but I, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see out the month. And, you know, interestingly enough, people who just normally carry a knife and, and they're not, you know, knife idiots and knife nuts and everything else where they're like, they don't get it. They're like, just carry your knife, dude. And I used to be that way. I used to just put a knife in my pocket. I carried a Benchmade, um, Gravitator, Mike Snowdy design. I carried a Benchmade Gravitator every day for like, I don't know, seven, eight years, something like that. And I just never even thought about it. Maybe five years. I don't know how long it was, but I never even thought about it. Um, and then, I don't know, I just started getting new things. And um, yeah, I just kind of got into the Instagram thing and everything else. Speaking of which, Chuck at Chuck, Nuns, at Chuck underscore Nunface, give me a follow there. Um, I just started getting into posting on it and everything else and getting into new stuff. And so you know, here we are. But yeah, most normal people have no problem carrying one knife for years, let alone um, for 30, 31 days for, you know, the duration of a month. So it's kind of a problem that's just unique to knife people. So if you're not one of those people, you know, this type of stuff, this type of contest, so to speak, this type of content probably just isn't for you. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're participating in this challenge or you have done in the past, you're considering you know, um, you know, maybe there's something like this does interest you. So in any case, uh, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Um, stay tuned for another installment of, uh, one month, one knife 24 with the Spyderco military two in S 110 V and titanium scales from rock scale design. And, uh, I will leave it at that. Peace out y'all.